Welcome Transformer fans, my name is Composite Energy, and today's review is on the Transformers Kingdom Deluxe Class Trax. And here he is in his alt mode, which is, well this is based off of his Generation 1 design, and this vehicle mode is based off of a Chevrolet Corvette C3. I believe that's what it was called, uh, double check me on that, but yeah. I believe this is what, uh, like for the longest time I thought this was a Pontiac Firebird. And I think there is a version that kind of looks like this. And I think it was this that threw me off. But this is a Corvette, a Chevrolet Corvette C3. I'm 95% sure on that. But yeah, so here he is in his old mode. And it's very cool. It's a very, very nice looking car. He rolls quite nicely. Really like the decal here. And I like the shade of blue. Very nice. Very nice looking. Um, he comes with a couple of accessories. He has these two weapons. These, um, I think these are missiles. These are like two missile launchers and a blaster, which as you saw, you can plug in like so. And then you just plug into the back like so. And now he's weaponized. And let's take it off. Put it off to the side for one second. And this is usually a part where I would go into the, you know, transforming it into his robot mode. But he actually has... A second mode he has a flight mode of all things which i don't know if this character i'm not too familiar with this character of tracks but yeah he, he does that so first off you come back here and you bust out these little tail fins which yeah, they actually look good on the car mode but then you come over here and you lift up you separate this a bit i try to remember here there we go. Separate there. Separate there. This is honestly even the first step into transforming them. Bring it out. Bring it out. Fold out. Fold out. You have to maybe maneuver it a little bit. Fold out. Fold out the wings. Fold out the wings. And then you fold this to where this symbol is aiming up. And there you have... The flying car mode, the flight mode of tracks. And funny enough, I do have, and I'm pretty sure I did the review of this and even mentioned it there. Uh, on Classics Wheeljack, that mode was based off of a Classics tracks as uh, uh, which also did this, and that feature carried over to that Wheeljack. So now I have two, uh, two vehicles with flying car modes like this. I like it. It's a, it's a it's slightly silly, but I like it. I would have preferred if maybe the front the wheels in the front also transformed a bit too. But this is actually pretty cool. Can't I can't hate it. Not familiar with the character, but he at least has a lot going for him. And there you go. Pretty cool. All right now, let's get on with the rest of the transformation. So fold these down. Fold these. Ah, oh, now I don't want to go in. Oh, oh, I did go in. All right, all right. So these, at this point, you can then flip out the hands. You pretty much got the upper body all transformed now. Uh, what was next? I think you have to separate. You have to separate some stuff. Oh boy, there is something finicky here that I have to do. Yeah, I have to. A lot of separating. This guy was pretty finicky the first time I transformed him. There we go. You have to like lift this up. Shut the hands are out. Oh, yeah, wait. There we go. You have to separate this. Separate that. Lift up. Rotate. Fold this in like so. You have to do this a specific way so that this peg goes into this port. You may have to finagle it a bit. 
think I got it. There we go. You gotta line it up properly. And boom, there we have the upper half. And then here, where it gets kind of tricky, because you have to do this a specific way. So I'll come back here. And this way you can then extend out the legs. But then you have to do this a certain way. So you have to how was this it had to be like this Darn it. Can't remember how I was supposed to do this. I was, was not a fan of this transformation. Because you have to do it a certain way. You think it's like this, but it's not. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Remember, you had to feed it through here. There we go. You had to feed it through. This, this was annoying to figure out. All right, then. And then should be it. I don't know what you're supposed to. There we go. There's, there's a peg, there's a peg there that you have to do. So now feed this through like so. Open this, open that panel in the back, stretch out. Finish folding it out. And then this, you make sure, because there's a peg, you see, peg for port, put it there. And then it all lines up. And then you rotate. Was there and then for this part, I think you have to push this forward, push that chest piece forward, and then this will just push it in. There we go. Push it in until you feed until like two pieces, two pegs clip into place. And then you push that back in. And here we have, after much hullabaloo, make sure everything's okay. Yeah. Legs are a bit loose, but yeah. Here we have Trax in his robot mode. And looks pretty cool. It's pretty nice. Now, I've never mentioned this before, but I do have a Road Rage, which is the which is a re which is a common repaint of uh, Trax here. But yeah. So yeah, there is Trax and he's pretty cool. Um the red face, the all red face is kind of unique. It does break uh, break up the um, blue a bit, but I feel like there isn't enough red to justify the whole red face, unless it's meant to do that. Similar to how this is the only uh, is the only different color apart from the blue, so maybe that's what they're going for. So, yeah, looks pretty cool here. His wings, which you can you know fold out, they fold. You have these pegs for other stuff, and yeah. Uh, at first, I thought that maybe I could fold this in and work with it, but no, it's got to be like this. So, yeah, nothing else to really say. So, on to articulation. Head is on a ball joint. It's a bit limited, but it is on a ball joint. Arms can go around and out, swivel at the, swivel at the upper arm, bend at the elbow, and a little bit of wrist action. There is a waist and a flap. Forward, back, in, what is it, in, out, back, swivel at the thigh, bend at the knee, and a ball joint at the foot, so he does have a proper ankle. So yeah, he has quite a lot of articulation, although his legs are a bit loose for me. On mine, so be aware of that. Um... Might be an isolated incident, but just be aware that my knees here are fairly loose on this guy. 
Well, everything else is pretty tight. So now on to his accessories. That's pretty much it for his uh, articulation, which he has plenty of. Very nice. On to the accessories. And nothing much. It has his, his blaster, which this one I... No, yeah, this one I have him hold. And then this one, it's pictured having him pegged up here. Not a huge fan of that. So I prefer putting it here on this port on his arm. So now he has... The arm rockets, his wrist rockets, if you get get what get that reference. And he has the one pistol blaster. So yeah. Pretty cool. And these also move. There's just the free wheels. So yeah, pretty solid, pretty, pretty solid figure with pretty good articulation. And yeah, transformation is a bit finicky with the legs. Wasn't a fan of that. We had to like feed it through. I mean it's interesting, it's different, but not in a good way. So yeah, let me zoom out a bit, because now we're going to do some size comparisons. Here we have Ratchet. Oops. There we go. Here we have Ratchet and Cliff Jumper. So yeah, he's decently sized. I mean, Ratchet is still, you know, literally a head taller, but... Decently sized. So, yeah. Overall. Overall, Trax here is a, is, a, is a pretty good figure. That was I was pleasantly surprised with him. He's one of those figures. I wasn't really planning on picking him up. And I, got a, I had a great chance to get him. It was a really good moment to get him. And I was able to. But, yeah. Pretty cool. Very nice. Very solid figure. Just be aware that he may have weak knees, as weird as that sounds. So yeah, overall, nice, good, solid figure. He gets a thumbs up out of me. Pretty good. So yeah, uh, this has been my review of the Transformers Kingdom Deluxe Class Tracks. Uh, this is Gabaza Energy signing off. Peace out and be safe.